it's time to cover one of the most important sources in OBS, and that is the video capture device. Now, this may be used to capture, say, a USB webcam or a capture device. We will see both scenarios, but let's start with simply setting up one. Let's go ahead and add our webcam, which is overhead. So we'll right click, add video capture device. We'll do camera or rather webcam overhead. And from the sources here, this is my capture card, but we have our Brio here. So let's capture it here. It should bring up the image from overhead, as you can see. And what we will do right now is we will change a few settings. Now, right now, what you can see is the default it's picking up, which is a square image. We will right click custom. This webcam supports up to a 4K image, but we'll do it an 80p image. And we'll leave everything as default. We won't change anything right now because these settings we will be looking into individually when we go into one of our tutorials. So if I press OK, that's our webcam. In the technical, we will be able to see a lot more information about this. But we can also add, say for instance, I want to, well, that's the, the webcam source which was reloading, by the way. And this is the window capture behind it. So I can lock that so it goes away. So that's our webcam source. So if I could put that there and hide it and lock it. If I want to capture a game device, say my Nintendo Switch, I'll go to video capture device. I'm going to type in Nintendo Switch because that's how I'm going to tell it apart. And my game capture 4K60 Pro is connected to my Nintendo Switch output here and it will detect the default resolution. So if I want to change anything, I can go custom. Say I want it to be 1080p. I want to match output FPS, and that's everything over there. These, again, we will go into more detail when we do the technical information. But there we go. We have our games, and we can we can open a game. And see, my crash is open, and I went into a level right now anyway. But that's it. I can go into sleep mode, and there we have it. Now, a cool thing about capture devices such as this is that with something like the cam link for instance I can add another camera so if I go to right click add and this will be an inverted camera but I have my mirrorless camera connected to the cam link so when I go to video capture device and I'll go to cam link I will select the cam link from the drop down and I will be upside down you'll be seeing me upside down and there we are we can go custom again and it's 1080 is the only option, but we can type in. So if I type in, let me flip myself around so you can see me properly. In that case, we'll do transform and rotate 180 degrees. Now you can see me properly there. And what we can do is if we go to the cam link, we can change this. If we type, so everything will stop once we start typing. It's not allowing us to type actually. So let's reduce that and 720 let's see if it picks it up that means the device does not allow that resolution to be manually input so we'll do 1080p there and it picked it up just fine again the advanced things we'll see in the advanced tutorial and uh, that pretty much covers what we have here and in the next tutorial i don't know what we'll be checking let's see because i closed my document here the next stuff we're going to check and have a look at is the VLC video source. Now, the VLC video source can be interesting in a number of situations, and we will see how we can make good use of that. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial, and I will be seeing you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And for any queries, please leave them in the comments or find me live on Twitch. I'll see you in the next one.